Hey guys, it's Mr. AJ's Tech here, and today I'm going to be giving you a video going over the brand new Touch ID feature of the iPhone 5S. So here's my new 5S, I just got it yesterday, and I'm going to be showing you how Touch ID works, how I like it, and uh, how you set it up. So right here we have my 5S, of course, and uh, we're just going to go ahead and lock it. So Touch ID is just going to basically read your finger, so you can set up multiple fingers, so if you use your index finger sometimes to hit the home button, you can actually unlock it through your index finger or your other uh, fingers or what whatnot. Uh, so basically you can slide over and you can type in your passcode or you can just go ahead and just hold your finger there. So if you uh, want to just unlock it straight from here, you can actually just put your finger right on there and it'll go ahead and unlock the phone, which is actually really awesome and this also works with iTunes. So rather than typing your tedious uh, iTunes password, you can just go ahead and put your finger on it and it'll log right in. And I can see this uh, working really well in the future for uh, third party applications because they can go ahead and just use the fingerprint to log you into an app. So let's say an app that stores passcodes or something like that, it would definitely be really cool to just log your uh, fingerprint and then it'll just let you log in, which is definitely really, really cool. As for the settings for this, you can go ahead into this passcode or fingerprint. This is just basically the old passcode uh, lock settings. And in here, you can change your passcode, of course. You can uh, require it. Uh, I do it immediately now because I can go ahead and just unlock my phone really easily. On my old iPhone 5, I used to always be typing in my password. So I can set it up so that it locks right away so that I can just go right into my phone and it's very easy. So going down, you just basically got the normal stuff, but then we have this fingerprint right here. Uh, so you can see right here it says iTunes and App Store and uh, Passcode Unlock. Uh, and I already have finger one finger two, finger three. So I have both thumbs and uh, my index finger. So we're just going to go ahead and add another finger. We're going to go ahead and do my uh, middle finger. So basically to do this you just lift your finger on and off a million times until it figures it out. Uh, so you're supposed to just kind of move it a little bit and then this way it'll just read your finger and get it set up. So we're just going to keep going through there and then it wants me to move a little bit. So we're just going to keep going. And we should be done. And we are. So now, if I lock my phone, and I just put my middle finger on here, it'll just unlock my phone. So Touch ID is definitely a really, really cool feature. And uh, if, of course, if the sensor fails for some reason, you always have the passcode lock over here. But I don't see it failing anytime soon, but you won't get locked out if the sensor some, for some reason fails or your fingers, uh, your fingerprint changes or something like that. I don't know why your fingerprint would change, but it's really as simple as just putting your finger on there and it reads it. And it doesn't matter which way you really put it on there because the, the software just kind of captures every angle of your finger. So you just kind of put it any way you want and it'll unlock the phone, which is a really, really cool feature and I definitely really like it. And when I'm purchasing from iTunes, I know that sometimes it doesn't require the password, but other times it does. It's really nice to just be able to just press on the home button and it just reads my finger and no password typing. I really would like to see that in the future in multiple other applications and stuff like that. Be sure to like this video, comment down below, and subscribe. And uh, also follow me on Twitter, and if you want to see more, just let me know down in the comments section if you want to see more about the 5S, anything else. Um, I th I'm thinking I'll do a camera comparison to the iPhone 5, and a few other speed tests uh, of that sort. So anyways, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.